Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you all for coming so much. I'm Brian Uselis, the marketing manager here at Fall City. Uh, it's a great, great day for us. We're so excited. Obviously, uh, a brand new product launch. Take a real quick moment to introduce you to the other members of our team up here. Dylan Greenwood, he's our master brewer. He's the star of the show. And then, yeah, yeah, all right, all right. Cesare Vladarczyk, he's our president. Obviously, obviously, Mr. Mayor Greg Fisher, everybody knows him. <laughs> we have an absolutely great, great history at this brand, um, dating back to 1905. You know, something that we're very, very proud of, always being here in Louisville. Uh, but today marks another great day in our history. We are so excited to unveil not only our new logos, our new imagery, but also uh, two new products to the Fall City line. Um, we've had, you know, for the longest time, we've had two bottled beers. We've uh, obviously had our, our pale ale and our hipster repellent IPA. And then today, today marks new, uh, new bottles on the shelf at all, all your stores. So we've got our Kentucky Common, which will be a year-round beer, something we're very, very excited about. Uh, we'll have Dylan talk a little bit more about the style here in a minute. And then the first issue of our seasonals, we'll have four seasonals throughout the year. The first one will be our Easy Go Recession IPA. It's a, it's a great, they're both great beers, and we've been waiting forever to, to share this with all of you and to share with the Louisville community. Um, you know, Louisville's always been our home, and as the beer culture continues to expand here, it's been something that, you know, it's allowed us to expand with it. And we just are so excited to have a full family of bottled beers now, something that, you know, can uh, pique the interest of a, of a common beer drinker, as well as uh, something for the, the most, you know, crazy beer enthusiast out there. So we're really, really excited. Without further ado, I'll introduce uh, Dylan Greenwood here to talk more about the beers. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming out. My name is Dylan Greenwood. I'm the master brewer for Fall City Beer. As Brian said, we are very happy to share with you our two new packaged beers. Uh, being the Kentucky Common and the Easy Go Recession IPA, which is the first of a rotating seasonal uh, for us. Uh, the Kentucky Common beer is a beer that was actually invented here in Louisville. Um, it's one of only three styles to be invented in America, so it has a deep history here. Um, it is said that 75 to 80 percent of Louisvillians were drinking this style of beer before Prohibition hit. Um, unfortunately, after Prohibition, this style died away, and we're happy to be a big part of bringing this style back to the masses. It's a great beer. It's actually very uniquely Kentuckian in that it is um, inspired by a distiller's whiskey mash, um, meaning that it has barley, corn, and rye in it in the mash bill, uh, just like a whiskey mash would. Um, so they borrowed that from the distillers. Um, it's balanced with a uh, um, a small amount of hops at 20 IBUs. Um, it's very drinkable at only 4% alcohol. Um, and like I said, we are honored to bring this, uh, this beer back. Um, not only does it have a great history, but it's a great beer and I think everybody's gonna love it. Um, the other beer that we have today is the first of our um, seasonal rotating lineup, the Session uh, IPA, we call it our Easy Goer. Um, in the fall, we will have a harvest ale. Uh, the winter will be our red rye lager, and the spring will be our heather ale, which is a Scottish ale flavored with heather tips. Um, this beer here is a session IPA, as it says in the name. It's going to appeal to your IPA drinkers who like the flavor and the aroma of hops, but without it being overly alcoholic or overly bitter. Um, and at 4%, 4.5% alcohol, you don't have to feel bad about having more than one. Um, 45 IBUs balances it out to give it a great flavor, even at that low alcohol. So without further ado, I would like to uh, bring up the mayor, who has been a great supporter of craft breweries, and we're so honored to have him here today to celebrate with us. Thank you. Well, good afternoon, everybody. And this is a very nostalgic uh, moment for me. I grew up here in Louisville, and so I was, and I grew up in a Catholic family in Louisville, so I was able to witness a lot of beer drinking uh, growing up. And when we would go and visit my uh, grandparents, I mean, you know, like when you're five or six, you don't understand, but, you know, I'd walk in off with the back porch, and there would be several stacks high of Fall City beer waiting to go back to the store for the bottle deposits, I suppose. So, 
if you've spent any time in Louisville, going back a little ways, you know uh, the important place that Fall City Beer plays in our, in our history. So it's really cool to see the way that it's come back over the last couple of years and the new entrepreneurial zeal that's come into this. Having Kentucky Common in bottles here today uh, is a real milestone for Fall City as well. Yeah, so it's just a wonderful thing to come along. Our food and beverage scene in the city is really hot. Everybody knows that. And so people are coming from all over the world to eat our great local food, uh, participate in our bourbon culture, participate in our craft beer culture as well. And a couple of years ago, when we got together with all the craft beer team, we said, what can we do in the city to amplify the industry? And part of what we had about five things we came up with, but one of them was reconnecting with our distilling roots, our, our, brew, our brewing roots, and show the world what we've got going on here. So a lot of what you're seeing in the craft beer industry came out of that work group. So this is one example here today. Now we also like to exercise in this city and we do our big bike rides. So last year, our most popular bike ride by far was when we went from craft brewery to craft brewery around town. <laughs> We started at 10 o'clock in the morning, and we started with about 350 people, and we ended up here with about 500. I'm not sure how that happened. <laughs> but we'll continue to kind of pull all these things together. Just a couple other things. One, we got great local support. I want to acknowledge the Clydesdales here. The Clydesdales are an important part of our local beer drinking culture. Good job. And when people ask why local businesses are important, uh, here's a great example. One, just the growth of Falls City itself, but then having great local partners. So Bandy Carroll Hellage is in the house. They've done all of the uh, trade promotion, the PR work, the marketing for Falls City, uh, the design of the packaging itself. So, you know, you don't get that when you get big out of town firms. They don't spread the money like they do locally. So to BCH and their team, congratulations and good job to you guys. Okay? All right. All right, so I would like to uh, proclaim something here, as I can do, and Chesri, if I could produce this to you. This is the city of Louisville honoring Falls City Beer in honor of your all's expansion for a nod to its history as it brings back the storied brand of Kentucky Common. So a grateful city, cheers, the local brand, fellas, good job, and proclaims today, March 1st, Falls City Beer Day in Louisville. Who can argue with that? Thank you. That's 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 a great day indeed. And our secret, and our secret plan is 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 uh, make today March first a bigger beer drinking day than St. Patrick in a few days. Uh, I also I I want to personally thank each and all of you and and Mayor Fisher, but all of you had a piece of uh, action uh, working with us, working for us. Uh, uh, cheering on us. There is a few neighbors here from uh, our historic Portland neighbor neighborhood. You also have a piece of action because of uh, your daily good morning, your smile. It helps us to, to move forward very, very, very quickly. Um, we are bringing Kentucky Common back to history after over a uh, hundred years of non-existence non in the marketplace. That puts us in a, in a unique uh, a situation a both commercial and uh, local support. Uh, for example, we want to get into Kinland with this beer. We want to uh, get into uh, Church in Down, Downs uh, with this uh, uh, beer because this is an icon here and I think it merits its presence on this land. Thank you very much. And uh, we will be uh, taking the media to our tasting room to taste, officially taste, uh, these beers uh, with uh, our master brewer Dylan Greenwood. The rest of us uh, we follow. Let's follow us to over the nine, and we will start tasting these beers. Why wait? Thank you very much.
All right, before we uh, invite you over to uh, taste the beer, I'd like to invite Mayor Fisher to taste the first beer with us. So, here we go. <laughs> Cheers. Well, I can see what that's going to do. Very, this is going to do very well. I predict great things for this beer. <laughs> Cheers. Hey. This has been a Metro TV production, a public service of Louisville Metro Government.